Ready to get started with PlumSale Help Desk? Click the Download button on the product page and select Help Desk for Microsoft 365. When you open the file, it will run the Help Desk installation wizard on your desktop. The wizard will help you install a Help Desk site in your SharePoint online tenant. If you wish to have separate Help Desk systems, for example, one for your customers and one for your internal use, you can use the wizard to install as many Help Desk sites as you want. Enter your SharePoint online tenant address and SharePoint admin credentials, or ask your system administrator to run the wizard. Next, enter a name for your Help Desk site. Choose the language and privacy settings for your site. Note that the site language cannot be changed after installation. Once everything is ready, click Install. There are a few things you may want to configure before you begin using your help desk. Let's start off by configuring the email settings. Navigate to the Settings page and click on the Email tab. There are several ways you can configure help desk to send and receive emails from your corporate mailbox. Add an Outlook mailbox or set up email forwarding and custom SMTP. You can also use both options at the same time. To add an Outlook mailbox, you need to click on the Add Outlook Mailbox button, enter the email address, and grant access to Help Desk. You can add multiple Outlook mailboxes at once and set one of them as the default. Alternatively, you can set up email forwarding. This is your internal Help Desk email address. Any emails sent to it will create a ticket or comment on your help desk in real time. You just need to specify your email address as the reply to address. Whenever your customers respond to your emails, their responses will be forwarded to the internal help desk mailbox automatically. You can also specify a display name for emails sent from the help desk. You will find a link to the instructions on how to set up email forwarding for some of the most popular platforms here. For more details on email configuration, watch the next video on setting up the support channels. Our next step is to create agents to handle tickets and interact with customers. Navigate to the Contacts tab and click New. The Help Desk contacts are classified into three roles. End users are created automatically when a user first submits a ticket. They are users outside your SharePoint tenant. The members are your SharePoint users. They will have access to a Help Desk web widget, which we will put on a SharePoint site accessible to everyone in your organization. Lastly, agents are the users who process tickets. Let's fill out the contact form to create an agent. By default, all agents will be notified of a newly created ticket and can assign it to themselves. You can also set up automatic ticket assignment using Help Desk triggers. We'll walk through that in a separate video. You're all set to try out your ticketing system. Let's send an email to it. When a ticket is submitted, you'll receive a notification. Let your customers know that their message has reached its destination. Log in using your Help Desk agent credentials. You'll see a new ticket on the home page. Click on the Unassigned button to view all unassigned tickets. Here's the ticket we created. Select it and click the Assign to Me button in the top command bar. The ticket will now be assigned to you and will disappear from the unassigned view. Open the ticket and click Add Reply to get back to your customer. You can change the priority, the due date, and the category of the ticket. When you save a ticket with your reply, the requester is notified by email. As soon as the problem is resolved, you can save the ticket as solved. The ticket will disappear from the My Tickets view on the homepage, but will remain in the system for future reference. You will find more information in the documentation. If you have any questions, feel free to ask the community or our support.